park in downtown Greenville is the second best city park in America. That's according to USA Today. Well, the newspaper said the waterfall and Liberty Bridge helped push the park towards the top of the list. Fox Carolina's Zach Proluski explained some of the history behind Falls Park that turned it into one of the country's best and why Greenville natives and visitors alike spend so much time there. I love hanging by the waterfall. On a sunny day, Falls Park on the Reedy is packed. It's cool. Um, the, the environmental aspect is so good that you can actually spend most of your day here without knowing the whole day is over. From walking on the suspended Liberty Bridge to sitting next to the rushing Reedy River, Falls Park is a must-see for Paul Reardon and Dorothy Drazel, who are visiting from eastern Maryland. But the park itself is just, it's just amazing to have something like this right in the heart of the city. Yeah. People in are really fortunate. It's also a big part of life for those who call Greenville home. It's a big landmark for the city in general. Falls Park didn't always used to look like this. The process to turn it into what it is today began in the 1970s before the park officially opened 20 years ago. In 1974, the Carolina Foothills Garden Club adopted the area as a major beautification project. Over the next few decades, the falls would be restored. And in 2002, Greenville City Council voted to get rid of a highway bridge that ran over the waterfall, the place where the Liberty Bridge stands today. I remember when the bridge wasn't here, um, the restaurants weren't here. I just, I don't know. Things have changed so drastically. I mean, I'm jealous. You know, as soon as I look at it, I say, oh my God, could our city have something like this, even on a smaller scale? In Greenville, Zach Perlutsky, Fox Carolina News. It really is something special that we have here in the upstate. Now, Forest Park in uh -huh. St. Louis, mm -hmm. uh, given that number one spot in the USA Today poll, and